Hey guys, grocery haul time yet again. It is Monday. I hope you guys have had a great weekend and you're ready to see what all we got. Now this is a fairly small week. Um, we're kind of back in that stretch of them again. I, I'm seeing a new pattern emerge with our meal planning where we have three or four fairly small weeks in a row that stay under budget and then followed by one, maybe two weeks where we seem to really have to stock up on certain things again. So for those who are unfamiliar, to feed our family of nine, we have currently set our budget. In fact, we've reduced it down um, to $300 a week to feed our entire family. We do meal planning and things like that. Um, it, when I say reduced it down, I used to do alternating weeks where I do a really big week followed by a small week. But our small weeks were still $250. Our large weeks were four to $500. Um, so you can do the math on that. It has reduced our monthly total. And yeah, so let me show you what all I got really quick. I'm going to run through and tell you though that uh, Sean did the shopping for me today and the grand total for the groceries was right about $190. That actually included some extra stuff that is not food that is not pictured here. In fact, I'm thinking, I'm looking over at him that you guys can't see, um, could probably drop anywhere from $10 to $20 off that total yeah. Um, with the stuff that was non-food related, one-time purchases, like birthday party favors and some stuff like that. Um, in fact, I'm thinking it was probably closer to that $20 mark. And then because our budget is under, we stayed well under budget. Um, so it was 190, you take that about $20 off, it drops us down to 170. Went ahead and had him bring home Sam's Club pizza for lunch. It was $28 for three pizzas. So it still takes us up right around that $200 mark. That's $100 under budget. I mean, seriously guys, we can't beat that. So let me show you what all I got for groceries this week. All right, here is what we got. As you guys can tell, it's not all that much. So in the back corner, we have more golden potatoes. Um, I do still have some left, but tonight for supper, I'm actually making scallop potatoes, which will take almost the entire bag that I have left. Um, so I had him get more of those because it's just kind of a staple, especially in the winter. It's a nice thing to have. I say winter. Today's actually 65 degrees out, but tomorrow's snowy in in the 20s again. Uh, the TGI Friday's chicken wings. Now, this is something that we like. He saw this big value pack. When I buy food to act as an ice pack for something cold, um, especially since it's so nice out today, I usually get a bag of frozen veggies because it's cheap, it's easy, um, and then I'll use it in a dish later on. Uh, he, however, was getting hungry and knew that both him and I would probably enjoy those, so that's what he got, and that works. Our weekly pack of the fryer chickens, we cook those up every, uh, usually Monday, Tuesday, depending. Um, sometimes I get it done on Sunday, though. Uh, anyhow, we cook those up in the Instant Pot and then shred them, use that as an alternative to lunch meat every week. Uh, this week, the two chickens are 10.69 pounds. And yeah, so for $17, that will last us all week. We were paying more than that for actual lunch meat at Safeway every week to get the quality stuff. And there's nothing added to that when I do it that way. It is literally just chicken. Okay, uh, salted butter from Sam's Club, the butter sticks. The kids have been doing more baking with the holidays coming, we're gonna be doing more. I usually like the unsalted for a lot of things, but we've got several recipes calling very specifically for salted, so we needed to get that. The spinach dip, um, he wanted to go ahead and get some more of that, which is perfectly fine. It's been a little while, time to get some more then. Uh, sliced cheese, we uh, ran out of that the other day. The girls have really been enjoying making themselves grilled cheeses lately. We do, however, have just enough of the block cheese left, so we did not need anything other than that. Cream cheese, which uh, we've been using more of for various things. Uh, soups, and then the, I was teaching a couple of the girls last night how to make cream cheese frosting to go with some cupcakes for a birthday party. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna show you this little thing. There was a miscommunication between him and I. I needed buttermilk for muffins to make homemade ones. And, I thought he said it was half the size of the carton we'd gotten last time. He said half a pint. Um, so therefore, I thought it was a, he was getting more than this. And we'll see. 
We'll see how far that goes and how much I'm able to make. I'm probably gonna have to run to the store and get some more, uh, but we'll see. It might actually end up being enough. Uh, grapes, uh, it's honestly about the only produce right now. He said that everything else is looking kind of rough. Um, there's just not a whole lot of selection in general. It's not just that things are rough, they just don't exist when we hit winter out here. Uh, the Simply Dressed Caesar dressing, this is a salad dressing that we really enjoy um, and eating more salads again lately and stuff. I just like to have it on hand. The honey almond granola from Sam's Club. I just realized that, that was sitting backwards. This is something that the kids really like to uh, put in with yogurt, which I am now realizing I forgot to double check and see if we needed more yogurt. So we might actually have to go get some more Greek yogurt. Um, but that's not a whole lot. Anyhow, two cake mixes. Now, the cake mixes and four cans of frosting. This, um, I also I thought he was getting more cake mixes, but that was my mistake because I didn't write a number down. Uh, I like to keep these on hand in case we ever need. I, I actually make uh, an egg-free version with the cake mix that you just add 12 ounces of soda. Don't over mix it and then throw it in the oven. It's a little sticky, but it actually, it bakes up great. And it's an alternative that our allergy kiddos can eat because then there's no eggs and there's no peanuts in it. And then I can have that on hand for them if we ever need. So the frosting is to go with those two. That's why there were four cans of frosting because there were supposed to be more boxes. Uh, honey mustard. Uh, Sean and a couple of the kids have actually been really enjoying honey mustard with their chicken and some other stuff lately. So it was time to get some more of that. Marshmallows. Uh, the, our 12 year old has actually been working on making marshmallow fondant. Uh, something she's been working on along with baking and we needed more of that. The Brussels Mint Cookies, this is a holiday special from Pepperidge Farms that Sean really likes. Um, and I won't lie, I enjoy them too, so he went ahead and grabbed those when he saw them. Two things of barbecue. This is the kind that we have been using more frequently. Sorry about the kids in the background there. This is what Walmart had, so he went ahead and grabbed just one of that. And then when he got to Target, he found this one. Um, so that we have the two bottles that were on the list. Um, they just happen to be different flavors. More bubbly water. We are so excited. Sam's has gotten back in the cases of bubbly and that really makes us both excited. He also went ahead and got extra of the blackberries since that's the favorite of both of ours. And then the grape waters are something that he enjoys. Paper bowls because of a birthday party and to have on hand because we don't have any right now. And then these little bottles of soda, um, the root beer and the orange. This is actually for those cake mixes because these mini bottles are already measured out to 12 ounces. So I don't have to measure anything. I just open a bottle, dump it in with a cake mix, stir it lightly, and bake it. So there it is, guys. That's all we got. Now let me flip this camera around. Okay, so as you can tell, that wasn't a whole lot of food this week. A couple of extras that were not on the list, a couple things we're gonna have to go get. That does happen. It's nothing worth stressing. Um, I do, if you couldn't tell, towards the end of showing you everything, there was a lot of commotion going on and stuff. The kids are coming up, they realize that dad was home and that there's pizza waiting on the counter. So I'm gonna get all this put away and go feed my family. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything coming up next. And I will see you in the next one.